football is back. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Now today what I'm going to be bringing you is a Bradford City versus Bolton Wanderers match reaction. Now just before we get into today's video, if you could drop a like on it, that would be much appreciated. Let's try and go for 60 likes on today's video. That would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new. But obviously it's a very different sort of style of video today. It's something that I've never really done before. Also, excuse the hair, I've just got out of the bath. So that's why it's wet and very flat and, you know, the barber cut it really short. But enough about my hair. Today we have Bolton Wanderers in the Carabao Cup away from home. It's the first game since March the 7th. First professional game that actually means something where we played Salford away. We lost 2-0. Today we were Bolton away. I'm not confident going into it. The squad is lacklustre to say the least. The team is going to be announced in about half an hour. It's going to be a very different style video as I said. Uh, me and my dad are off to the pub to watch it because you know it's free to watch then. I'm not paying £10 to watch us get slapped by Bolton. It's going to be more about like my day rather than my actual you know, focused on the game. Because usually when I do my match day vlog, it's more about the game. But I don't just want to be sat talking to a camera for 90 minutes while I'm in a pub. So today's going to be more about the actual day itself rather than the actual game. But I will still include it. The majority of this video will still be still be about the game. So yeah, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and let's get on with today's video. A little bit of a match preview for you here. Um, as you guys know, I don't do match previews for games that are in the cup. I only do match previews for league matches. But both teams have a striker who played for the other team. One of them is Owen Doyle, who scored 25 goals last season. The other one is Clayton Donaldson, who scored 5 or 6. I bet you can't guess who plays who. Yeah, it's a battle of Donaldson versus versus Doyle. I mean, Doyle's probably going to score a hat-trick against us today. It's just written in the stars. He wasn't great for us, but I thought he was alright, considering you know, we finished rock bottom, he did alright to score 11 goals or whatever he scored. Um, I thought he was alright for us, but with our shaky defence at the moment, how poor we are defensively, I think Doyle's probably going to score today. Might even get two or three, wouldn't surprise me. Donaldson, on the other hand, I don't even think he'll play. Going into my score prediction for this game, it obviously does depend on the lineup. I will change it accordingly depending on when I see the lineup but I think we can all assume that the lineup's probably going to be O'Donnell, Dylan Motley Henry, uh, both O'Connor, Staunton, Woods, Watt Cook, Pritchard and Novak and Guthrie. That's probably what we're thinking. In my opinion, if I was manager, I'd go with O'Donnell in that. Zeli Ishmael at right wing back. Um, Anthony O'Connor, Paudi O'Connor and Staunton as the three centre backs. Connor Wood left wing back. I would go with Cook and Watt in the midfield. At Cam, I would go... Actually, no, I go Watt and Keen Scales in midfield. Then I go Callum Cook at Cam. Then up front, I would go with Guthrie and Donaldson. The only reason why I go Donaldson is just because you know, I love Donaldson. If we're going realistically, I'd go Novak. But Donaldson might be up for it because it's against his former club. But who knows? My score prediction, though, I'm going to go with... 3-1 to Bolton, um, I think Doyle will get 2 and Ali Crawford will score 1 for Bolton and then for Bradford I think, I don't know, we'll probably score from like a corner something like that, I think Anthony O'Connor will get a goal from a corner maybe. The lineup has been announced, here it is, I don't know if you'll be, yeah there we go it's focused, in goal we have O'Donnell. Right wing back, we got Tyler French, bit of an interesting one there for me. We've played Dylan Motley Henry or Zelly Ishmael there for all the pre season. Uh, we got Paudi O'Connor, Anthony O'Connor, and Reese Staunton at the back with Connor Wood occupying that left wing back role. We have Callum Cook and Elliot Watt in the midfield, Billy Clark being the more advanced number 10. And then we have Guthrie and Novak up front. On the bench, then we have Sam Hornby, Jackson Longridge. Ben Richards Everton, Harry Pritchard, Clayton Donaldson, Zelly Ishmael and Kian Skills. Bit of an interesting one for me, I definitely wouldn't have gone with that team, but let's see if we can get the win. We've scored, Simon Parker's tweeted it, but the stream is slightly behind. Equalised just after the start of the second half. 
Paul, very, very Paul. Harry Pritchard is coming off of Billy Clark. Billy Clark's not really done much, he's been very non existent. So has Harry Pritchard in pre season, so we'll be interested to see how he gets on today. Just under half an hour remaining. Curtis Guthrie is coming off on the big dog, playing Donaldson is coming on. Just under 20 minutes remaining, Donaldson's coming on. Guthrie's not done that much in this game. I feel like the what probably would have brought off Novak if he didn't score. But yeah, there's 20 minutes still getting going. see it right guys so i am now home after that fantastic win 2-1 victory away at bolton wanderers in the first round of the carabao cup for a team that are meant to be you know favorites to win the league they weren't that good we actually we played all right we had a very good start um when novak scored you know he did have that chance before where he should have scored but he didn't and we you know we've won the game so it doesn't really matter in the end uh, but novak scored a good balling from french good goal from novak um, then we kind of seemed to take the foot off the gas. I don't know if it were, we got tired or what it was. Uh, we went into half time, won the look, but it was about a minute into the second half. And Sarsevich scores. It's poor defending from Staunton and O'Connor. And the ball falls to Sarsevich and he puts in the bottom corner. Very, very poor. From like the next like 20 minutes or so, yeah, 25 minutes, something like that. The game was so flat, it was so boring. But then I can't remember who it was, but one of the players puts a ball into the box. It's looping over. Harry Pritchard, the sub, heads it. It goes over the goalkeeper, into the back of the net. Absolute scenes. And um, it ended up being the winner. So, yeah, well played to Novak and Pritchard. You know, I did kind of slate Pritchard when he came on, but... You know, he's proved me wrong. Fair play to him. Uh, my own, all my match trains and all that sort of stuff will be in the description down below. Apologies that it's not like the sort of usual style vlogs, but I can't really do much under the current climate. But that is where I'm going to leave today's video. If you have enjoyed, if you could leave a like on it, that would be massively appreciated. I think we said 60 likes at the start of the video. If you could hit that for the Bradford City's first away win since the 12th of October last year, that would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. And I'll see you all guys Tuesday night for Doncaster Rovers in the Checker Trade Trophy. Peace.
Fuck! <laughs>